Hi, and welcome to your Deskbird user training where I will drive you through how to schedule your week and how to book your resources. Alrighty, let's start. So you do have on the left here the three tabs, schedule, book, bookings, but also the help center. Whether you have any questions regarding the tool, you can always check our documentation here and your profile. Actually, let's do start with the profile. Why? Because it's the responsibility of each and every one of you to actually set up and configure your settings and notification from your profile. It's not done on an admin level. So you do have your first and last name, um, your main office, but also the language settings. And if you do have any office function, whether you are a first aider, um, fire responder, evacuation assistant, or a key holder, it's always good to mention it and you can do it so from your profile settings. Next is notification. If you wish or not to receive any notification from your calendar invites, check-in reminders, cancellation messages from your bookings or confirmation messages from your bookings, you can do so by email or push notification and it's done directly with notification throughout your profile as well. Okay, in the schedule, we do have the personal feed and colleagues that we are going to talk about in a minute. Here, if I scroll down, I do have the opportunity to schedule my week ahead. With those statuses, I will be able to indicate to the system, but also to my colleagues that I will be coming to the office today or I will be working remotely, for, for example. Let's say today I want to be at the office. So this indicates that I plan to go to the office, but it doesn't mean that I have actually booked my space, okay? Um, if I want to do so, I just need to click here, which will redirect me to the second tab, book. So let's do it together, book a space. I'm booking a desk. I also have the opportunity to book a meeting rooms or a parking spot, but right now let's focus on desks. I, this, this, this is the date of today. I'm booking for the full day. And I have here the different areas that I can book in. So open space, if I wanna book a place in the lunchroom, accessible zone, a phone booth, finance, human resources, and so on. Or I also have the ability to open the floor plan here any any space that i see the little face of someone or like the profile picture or a red means that it's already booked or assigned to someone and i'm not able to book there but i can also i could also for example if i zoom a little bit check the green spots and this one is green i can put this desk as my favorite or i can book it here these are the same parameters that I have checked earlier on the previous um, page. Mm, I'm just checking if everything is the same as I, I configured earlier. Yes, it is. And I also know that I will be going to the office also tomorrow, so I can book it here by using the more dates um, view. I have exactly the same settings here. I'm satisfied with my bookings. I can confirm and I'm done. Of course, if you go back to schedule, you will be able to see that today I plan to be at the office and I have indeed booked my desk five. It's, it should be the same for tomorrow. In the colleagues view, you will be able to follow any of your colleagues here by researching a colleagues by name or email. And then by following this person, he or she will appear here in this in this section and you will be to see how this person is actually planning to schedule their week ahead and if i click on the profile i can see if this person is a first aider a fire responder and how and where this person is going to sit for example tomorrow david will be at the office and is uh, sitting at the desk too i also have the opportunity if i didn't plan my week ahead yet to book nearby this person If I go now to the bookings um, tab, you have the ability to see all your upcoming bookings and the completed one. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.